Hi, hello everyone. My name is Coleman from Surf API. Today we are going to see how to connect Assistant API with Functions Calling API to create a smart AI assistant that can call an external API. It could be the custom API that you build based on the user's prompt. If you haven't heard any of these APIs, feel free to watch my previous video on Functions Calling or on AI Assistance API. Now let's dive in. Let's start by creating the AI assistance. We can create a new assistance through code programmatically like this, or we can also use the user interface from OpenAI. First, log into your openai.com, go to the assistance tab and create a new one. We can give it a name. For example, I'm going to create an SEO assistant and I'm giving an instruction. I will share the instruction in the description box below. Here, I'm telling that it will be an SEO assistant. It will analyze the keyword that user provide and also I'm going to add a function call tools that will return an organic results based on the keyword. So we will use an external API via this function call tools and call a specific API that can return these organic results. To let the SEO assistant know that we will call an external function, I will add a functions in the tools tab and we will follow this structure. I will just uh, paste my code here. You can also find this code in the GitHub link I will share. Here it is. The name is get search result. I will create the actual function on my code letter. Here is the description. It will return an organic result from a given keyword. And we declare what's the parameter that we will get from the user prompt. In this case is the query. So I'll go ahead and save this function. You can see the get search results function is now available in our tools. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the GPT-4 model. Uh, I'm seeing some errors when using GPT-3.5 when getting the exact keyword or particular section from the user's prompt. That's why I'm choosing the most capable model by OpenAI, which is GPT-4. We can copy this assistant code and paste it in our code. Now let's run our program. I run the server with node server GS. It runs in the default port 3000. I'm going to use Postman to simulate the API request. You can, of course, build an entire uh, front-end user interface uh, for this chat application, but I will just use Postman for now. Hitting our first get request in the thread endpoint, we will get a new unique ID. So this thread ID will be unique to each of the conversations. And for example, I'm going to send a different endpoint now to the message endpoint for post method. I'm passing the thread ID that we just created and then I will pass message for context for example I am Joe just to see if the assistant API works we are not calling an external function by this prompt yet as you can see now our program return hello Joe how I can assist you today I'm going to ask what would be a good title for a blog post on, on top designer tools in 2024 let's send this message here, as you can see, the program run a real Google search on the internet and provide us with the top three ranking results based on the title here. So after giving me the title and the snippet, now based on these three organic results, first top 10 best graphic design tools in 2024, and then exploring top web design tools and another one here, the complete guide to the best graphic design tools, it gives us a suggestion to our title blog post, which is Unlocking Creativity, First Ultimate Guide to Premiere Design Tool, and its explanation. So it gives us a suggestion for our blog post based on these top organic results to make sure we create a blog post that Google loves. In this tutorial, I'm going to use SERP API as the external function that we are going to call to get the Google search engine data. So make sure you register at SERP API and copy your API key there. So later in your env file, you'll have three different keys. First, the OpenAI API key itself you get from openai.com. So it's the assistant ID. It's coming from the assistant that we just created via the user interface and SERP API key that we get from serpapi.com. Make sure if you are using any other external API to include the API key here as well. Now let's take a look at the actual code. You need to install SERP API and OpenAI packages in this directory. Let's move to the server file. 
So here I'm requiring the .env file to read the data or keys from the .env file. I load the three keys here. I include OpenAI, Express for the routing in Node.js, and also get JSON method from SERP API. We set up the Express, set up the OpenAI client, and assign the assistant ID that we create from user interface. This is the external function where we will call to add a custom knowledge to our AI assistant. So in this example, I'm using the getJSON method from SERP API to load a Google data. So the implementation will be different depending on your third-party API or external functions that you want to call. Make sure to change this particular line if you use another API. And here are some methods that I prepare. A create thread method to create a new thread in OpenAI Assistant. Add message method to add messages to the particular thread. And running the assistant's ID using the threads.runs method. And finally, we also have the checking status to check the status since we will run a loop or polling to check if the request already finished. Here, we are creating a run object and we always check if the status is already completed, we will return the message in JSON format. And otherwise, here's the important part. If we are using a function calling like in this tutorial, we will check the status of requires action. So this string will be returned by OpenAI if they are calling an external function like this one. We will also check if this is a submill tool outputs. If so, we need to grab the keyword that we get from the user prompt using this method and we parse the argument. We can also console to make sure it's the keyword that we want and calling the actual get search result function that we saw earlier. So the goal of the whole lines here is to be able to parse or extract the keyword that user put in their human natural language in the prompt. And later, we will run this submit tool outputs method to call the function and run the method. And here is the functions. If you watch my previous video, this will looks very similar where we create a new thread and also we create a new messages. Remember, after running the assistance ID, we will poll or running an interval in the checking status method to see what's the current status of our request. Is it completed? Is it uh, canceled? You can add additional conditional statement here. For now, I just need these two conditionals first when it's completed and when it requires an action or needs to call an external function. Now let's run our program. I run the server with node server GS. It runs in the default port 3000. I'm going to use Postman to simulate the API request. You can, of course, build an entire uh, front-end user interface uh, for this chat application, but I will just use Postman for now. Hitting our first get request in the thread endpoint, we will get a new unique ID. So this thread ID will be unique to each of the conversations. Now I'm going to request a new message on a new thread or a different thread ID that I just created. I'm just introducing myself here. Hey, my name is Karen. And now I give more context. I have a pet food online shop. What keywords should... So by saying this, since this is an SEO assistant, it will automatically know and understand that I'm asking about a keyword that to use for the SEO. I also want to show you the console log right now. As you can see, it's running a new message, uh, running an assistant looping to checking the current status is it in progress and you can also see if the prompt is not requiring to call an external function then the ai assistant is smart enough to not call that particular function in this case if they already have the knowledge on what user are asking then it will just return the information based on its knowledge without calling an external api function so here, as you can see, it gives uh, some suggestion what keyword should I target. For example, I'm going to uh, use the suggestion, natural dog food. Now I'm sending a follow-up message. Thanks. I want to target this keyword, natural dog food. Let's send a message. Now let's monitor the output from our server again. It's running on an assistant, and this time it's smart enough to know that we require or we need to call an external API. So based this prompt alone, it already know, oh, okay, they need an information from specific keyword from the search engine. Now the AI assistant will trigger this function. Once it's completed, 
we can return to the postman information. So based on the results for this keyword, natural dog food, they give us the three top rankings as the instruction for this AI assistant. So it gives me uh, the information about the top three ranking, just like before. Here is a good title idea. It also gives me a suggestion that can be competitive with these three top rankings before. Here is the recommendation from the AI. So that's it. Uh, you can of course create a multiple functions and the AI assistants will smart enough to know which or when to and when not to call the external API function. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.